Hello everybody, we are back in the Northern Sea, but this side we're on the, this time we're on the other side, and there is other Pokemon here. Like, as you can see, there's this guy, but I need to like bait him, yeah, over, to actually get him here. Now, from memory, this guy's kind of a nightmare. Um, like, a kind of big nightmare. So I'm worried about him. In fact, what's his shtick again? Let me, let me just... Uh, uh, ah. Okay, what do you do? Okay, he's a physical attacker. Okay, so he knows final gambit. Which is something I don't want him to use. So I'm going to switch in my boy here. Mr. Pablo. That's going to hurt. Oh my god, it hurts so bad. Okay, that's fine. As long as he uses that again, we're going to terror and yawn. So now the bite won't be super effective. But now it can use Final Gambit. This thing's a fucking nightmare. What a piece of shit. Use Bite again. Psycho Cut. That's fine. Now we just really need to hope it falls asleep. Please. Pretty please. With a cherry on top. You little fucking nightmare. Liquidation, that's gonna hurt. Very glad I healed. Holy fuck. <laughs> okay. Uh, you're kinda silver and purple. Kinda like the idea of... Ooh. I mean, let's just chuck him in the Luxury Ball. Her. Oh, thank Christ. Fuck this thing, man. It's strong, though. Small blessings. Ooh. Ah, uh, no. You don't need Double Edge. Luz has excellent regenerative capabilities. It sheds spare flesh from its body to boost its agility, then charges at prey. I call the big one Bitey. So you're going to be called Bitey. Add to my party. Oh, wait, no, I guess I don't want you in my party. Go to the boxes. Little fucking nightmare. Okay. Let's get the hell out of here. Um, yeah, let's get up here. Oh my god, we never actually went there. Are you out of your fucking mind? Okay, let's just quickly go there. And we'll go take out this fairy thing. Now, what's good against fairy types? Fairy is the big one I don't know. Po just poison and steel. Just poison and steel. Okay. Fantastic. Ah, uh, thank you for charging up the terror orb. That's the other thing I wanted. Um, okay. You're not steel type, are you? No. <laughs> Okay, so they're good against Dark Dragon and fighting, bad against Fire, Poison, and Steel. Okay, so we're just gonna use... <laughs> I hate to say it, but we're just gonna use fucking Pablo again. 
I mean, if all the gyms would stop being weak to him, I'd stop using him all the time. It just means I'm going to terror fire and then just blast him. And so I started blasting. Hello, friend. So is there a guy here that's like, oh, you didn't battle 13 idiots. Yep, there is. No, I don't need them to rest. I just need you to unlock this as a flight point. Hello there, flower person. Hello, sir. Kaz, Operation Starfall is going well, wouldn't you say? Only two bosses left now. This whole experience has been eye-opening, to say the least. I'm glad I could take part. But I'm curious, what do you think of Cassiopeia? They're a bag of riddles. Is that so? Personally, I don't think Cassiopeia feels any hate or resentment towards Team Star. No, there must be some other reason behind Operation Starfall. Well, what could it be? Well, I'd best get back to keeping watch. Call for me if you decide to take on the base, okay? All right, bye. Wild Floet. I mean, go get him. I will return later when it's time for the young master's piano lesson. Until then, please give him my regards. Y yes, Mr. Harrington. Hmm? I didn't even walk that way. Who might you be, young man? A friend of the young master, perhaps? Uh, I'm not sure. I see. Since you seem unaware, I must inform you that this is the base of Team Star's fairy crew, the Rookbot Squad, led by the young Master Ortega. Uh, Mr. Harrington, I don't think we're supposed to be giving out that information. No? Then please accept my apologies. Do you have any ideas as to who this young man might be? He's no friend of ours, you know. I think he might be here to try and take us on. <gasps> I understood in that case. If I take you an adversary of the young Master? I guess that follows. Is that so? Well then, that leaves me with one last thing to ask you. Huh? Would you be kind as to indulge me in a quick battle? No. Oh yes, I suppose you must need to prepare. Okay, well. I mean, that is what I'm here for, but... I just wanted to play with the Floettes for a little bit. Get him. Are they worth any... They were worth okay, XP. Ain't nothing to cry home about, for sure, but... It was something. Happy potion? Sure. Okay, I guess we're doing the battle now. Splendid, then let us begin. Pokemon Trainer Harrington. Okay, Mr. Harrington. Morgrim. I like those little guys. They're cool dudes. Unfortunately, I'm not allowed to Terra until I actually get to the boss fight. Because I really need it for that. Goodbye, Morgrim. 52. My god, and you still don't do anything, huh? No, don't swap. Just keep going. Forty-eight. Yes, that's good. Uh. Well, well. Thanks for the money, I guess. An outstanding performance, however. Be aware the young master Ortega's battle prowess far surpassed my paltry skills. You'll do well to take care. Now, if you'll excuse me. Hasta la vista. A gentlemanly guy used to be the director of the academy, I think? At least that's what I heard. Now he's, like, tutoring the boss or something? He shows up here sometimes to take the boss to his lessons. Hang on, why am I explaining this to you? There's no doubting you're here to make trouble, so I gotta go let everyone know. Hasta la vista! Bye, idiot. I see the guards have been dealt with. Good job. 
That base belongs to Team Star's fairy crew, the Rookbuck Squad. The boss Ortega is the mechanic of the team. He may be the youngest of the bosses, but his battle skills are no joke. Underestimate him and they'll go things will go south for you quickly. He's also a real lead from the back type. He lets his grunts do all the dirty work for him, but his weak point is his short fuse. Get him good and angry and he'll march out to the front lines and deal with you himself. In terms of tactics, there's nothing else for it but to take down the lackeys he sends your way. Just stuff it out till Ortega shows up and go from there. Okay, thanks bud. So, who do we want? Uh, change position. I think we want these three. Ring-a-ding-ding, -ding, baby! Ding ding ding! Let's go, you heckin' nerds! Code red, code red, Operation Staff Wall Alert. Everyone get into position and defend the boss with all you've got. Rest assured, Intruder, we'll deal with you without the boss's help. Let's you manage to beat 30 of our Pokemon in 10 minutes, that is. Oh no, how will I cope? Oh! Okay, that wasn't great. First time I've seen the game do that one. Oh, it's the little puppies. And the bigger puppies. Go get them. It sucks that we don't even get EXP or items from this. Go get them. I'm really sad I didn't get the Tinker Hammer guy. Get him. Uh, I need more. I didn't know Wigglytuff could float too. Pokemon! There's a couple. Mimikyu! Oh, how I love you, Mimikyu. How I love you dearly. My sweet, sweet friend. Get over here, you lot. hey -ya! You guys gonna send some out for me? Yeah, more Mimikyu's? Okay. Okay, it's over. There we go. You think that would have, like, shortened the time limit or increased the number? At Events of the Breach, it's all up to our boss now. Probably increase the number. No, decrease the time limit. Because otherwise it'll just take fucking forever. Well, aren't you a dapper gentleman? Ortega? Huh, so you're Kaz. Okay. Talk about underwhelming. I was expecting someone, I don't know, a little more beefed up. Well, whatever. I don't care who you are. Not like I'm going to lose to you anyway. You think fairy types are all about cuteness? You're in for a nasty surprise. I mean, a lot of them are cute. I like them. I'll take out Team Star. Azumarill. Love Azumarill. Now, not the best matchup for me, though. This I will admit. I wish one of you does more damage. Ah, oh, but you've got stab. Hopefully this will kill? It did not. That's gonna hurt. It hurt a lot. Oopsie, did you realize how I matched you? If you want to give up, now's the time. That's fine, we're just gonna swap in. We did not bring our grass type. Um. Which one is the bulkiest? Well, you're the bulkiest, but 81, 97, 88. So it's gonna be you. Yeah, like, okay, in theory, Pablo should be able to kill because he was faster. But, am I gonna take that chance is the question. And the answer is absolutely not. Okay, Hyper Drill. Okay, you're slower, but that's fine. 
Perfect. That's what I wanted. Now you're dead. Who's next? Wiggly tough. That's fine. Back into Pablo. Also, that's a pretty sick guitar riff. Not bad. Now I'm going to start here with a nice chunky heal. I got so many max potions, may as well. Now, we are going to... Terra? Watch them. Yeah. Maybe we shouldn't have carried yet, because we don't want to kill. We just want to hit. Eh, who knows? Okay, it lived. Great. It's actually perfect. Does that lower my attack? That's fine. We're special attack. Fuck, our attack's already terrible. And now that we got a lovely plus two boost off that wiggly tough, I'm not so worried about the car. Dash bun. I don't even know what that is. Oh, it's the puppy! See, that's a that's a good puppy. That puppy Pokemon I like. Ooh, unfortunately, I am no longer a ghost type. Sorry to say. Oh no. Okay, that's not good. Okay, get Shadow Ball then. You're immune to fire type attacks. That's kind of cool. There's Rev of Room. What the heck? Why is my team on the ropes? That's totally not fair. You could have looked a bit angry or something. Your facial expression kind of didn't change. Misty Surge. I don't remember what that does. Um, oh no, I hit a button. That's fine. Uh, what does Misty Terrain... Um, pass the power of dragon type moves. Okay, and it can't. Basically, I can't get negative status effects on the opponent. That's fine. I'm gonna use a hyper potion because I don't know what you're gonna do or how strong it's gonna be. Magical talk. That's fine. Good enough for me, bud. You're gonna get torch songed into the ground. Steel roller. Okay. Um, oh, that did something not good. You guys see that artifact thing, right? Uh, yeah, it's definitely being recorded. Okay. Oh no, not confuse Ray, you prick. Come on, just use it. Please. Don't hurt yourself. Okay, that's fine. Goodbye. Skadoosh. Stupid Roachba. Get out of here. He made. Ooh, he made. God, that artifacting is so bad.
Okay, how could I lose? What the heck? About a year and a half ago. Oh, uh, what the heck? Your toy car didn't budge an inch, huh? I told you, it's not a toy. It's called the Starmobile, and I was up all night building it. The problem is clear that we're not giving it enough juice. You designed this thing to be powered by two char cadet, but it's just too heavy. That's such a shame. I want to see the looks on our bullies' faces once we got it moving. I'm sorry. I really thought it would work. Come, good fellow. It is no occasion for melancholy. Why not? Why to make such a remarkable contraption by thine own hand? Genius. Thy name is Ortega. Yeah, well, there's no point if it doesn't work, is there? If I knew all the effort that would have zero pad, I'd have just asked mother to buy a car for us. See, this is why people don't take you seriously. You say some stupid things, you know that? What? Mella, cool it, would you? Yeah, how about no? I mean, we even put this in the code for trying out loud. When we started Team Star, we swore to quit relying on our parents of, or bags of cash to fix our problems for us. Or did you forget? That hunk of junk didn't move. Get it moving. If we're short on juice, you just got to crank up the power somehow. It doesn't take a genius, man. That's easy enough to say, Millie. Do you have an actual plan? Yep, I'm going to train up my char cadet and have him evolve. Their boosted firepower will get the Starmobile moving. No sweat. But the hour of our Operation Star is nigh at hand. Will you succeed in time? Oh, I'll get it done. Millie, wait! You know, Mella shoots her mouth off an awful lot, but she means well. I know. Ugh, this sucks. And they just ended up using a rev vroom anyway. This sucks. I hate myself for losing, but I also can't get over how awesome you were in that battle. If any of us squad bosses are defeated, that means we have to step down. And going against our code would mean make me a traitor to the team. Gah, fine. Not like I have a choice anyway. So take the badge already. You better treat it with the respect it deserves. Very awkward handshake. But you know what? I'll take it. A win's a win, baby. I'm not done yet. Here's my favorite TM2. Come on. Dazzling Gleam. It's a good one. But I've already got it. Oh, wait. Maybe I don't. Just so you know, you are the worst. Like the most annoying person ever. But I get it. You're super strong. I'll admit that much. You even busted up my Starmobile. Young Master Ortega. Mr. Harrington. Guess it's time for my piano lessons, huh? As it happens, I just lost my boss title, so I'm all good to head on home. Oh, actually, it's a different matter brought me. There's somebody I'd like you to meet. He's a distant acquaintance of mine. The name's Clive. Okay, what's your business here? I want you to tell me something. You're the son of a wealthy family and heir to a major apparel company. So why join a group like Team Star? What a question to ask someone you've just met. Well, my answer's the same as everyone else in the team. It's because I was being bullied. But the academy really did have an issue with bullying. Who would have guessed, huh, right? The school is all rainbows and butterflies these days and the bullies from back then don't even go to the academy anymore. Why, what happened to them? As former director of the academy, I believe I am as best position to answer that question, Mr. Harrington. About 18 months ago, the members of Team Star confronted the students who used to bully them, and then an altercation broke out between the groups. Though it did not escalate into a major incident, the altercation nonetheless caused a scandal of hither, the, hither though unknown proportions. As a result of what occurred that day, the students who had perpetrated the bullying dropped out of the academy one after another. But there aren't any records of that anywhere in the academy. No, I should imagine not. My former deputy deleted all records of the incident, you see. What? Why would anyone do that? Just as I was puzzling over how best to deal with Team Star in the aftermath of the incident, a certain student came to see me. The student declared that they would take all the responsibility for the team's actions. In exchange, they requested that I exonerate the other students of Team Star from any blame. Huh? No, no one told me that. Accepted the request and agreed not to take disciplinary action against Team Star. Then I assigned 18 months of overseas study to the students who took responsibility for the team. A year and a half of studying abroad. This was not intended as a punishment, you understand. Team Star were the victims, after all. I wanted the students to take some time to rest, so I had them return home to the Galar region under the pre pretext of overseas study. Around that time, however, the former deputy director took it upon himself to erase all traces of the incident from the academy servers. It appears his intent was to shield himself from any blame. So he tried to cover up the whole thing? That's terrible. After we discovered what he had done, I dealt with him appropriately, of course. But the inability of myself and the rest of the teaching staff to prevent this terrible act also represented a grave blunder on our part. I accepted the blame that lay at my feet and resigned from the position as director. The rest of the teaching staff then joined me in handing in their notices. So that's why the current teachers were all brought in a year and a half ago. I understand my actions have caused you a great deal of trouble. You have my sincerest apologies. Hang on, Mr. Harrington. How could you suddenly decide to talk about this now? Young Master Ortega, Team Star cannot carry on in its current fashion. I really wish to give you a chance to chart a better course. Well, there's no way I'm abandoning my friends and going to school without them, not after we've come this far. Your friends in Team Star must mean a great deal to you. Isn't that obvious? 
It's because, you know, they're my greatest treasure in the whole world. Lame. <laughs> Team Star defeated. Kaz, it's me. I take it that I'll take it. Hand it over a star badge to you then. Sure did. I see. But it's boss no longer around. The Rookback squad is as good as finished. Even Ortega. I'm sorry. We're almost there now. Just one boss left. The operation's been a huge success thanks to you, and Clive has also performed admirably as your support. I remember him saying that you're acquaintances. Have you known each other long? Yeah, for a while now. Well, he's clearly a reliable friend. He almost reminds me of the gang back in the day. Which gang? As you know, Team Star was formed by a group of students who were being bullied at school. Shortly after forming the team, these students, none other than the squad bosses themselves, confronted their bullies head on. The outcome was a resounding victory, though you could hardly call it a contest. The bullies didn't even put up a fight. They all got bolted from battle the first chance they got. Scared spitless of Team Star, the bullies then dropped out of school one after another, and Team Star ended up villains of the story. But that's neither here nor there. Forget I mentioned it. Now about your reward, I'll transfer some LP to your phone. Ching ching! And the materials. And the TM machine. Make good use of the TMs. My supply unit rep will be long. Give you your bonus reward. Hand it over, Penny. Um, here I am. Yeah? Go on, stay in your Pokeball for once, would you? Wow, Team Star went through all that, huh? They just want bullies to go away, but then they became bad guys in everyone's eyes. What a joke. The students, the teachers, they're all so messed up. Even if just one of them had been paying attention when everyone was getting bullied, they'd have been able to tell right away that Team Star wasn't the one in the wrong. But I guess the big boss was the one who urged everyone to face their bullies, despite knowing how messed up the academy is. What a massive idiot. Creating Team Star and just hoping their plan would miraculously work out. You really think so? I'm sure of it. Well, here's your reward. Lots of materials. Your next boss is the very last one. We're counting on you. I want that bag. Now, unfortunately, this isn't in the team star base. Oh, wait, maybe it is. No, damn. Well, are you a three star? No, you're only a one star. Uh, Vavillion? You're not new, though. Well, there doesn't appear to be anything new around here. So there's nothing I can really bait in here. Well, it's Floette, but you know, not new. You guys are also not new. Um, you guys are not new. Have I killed a jump off yet? Well, I'm not killing that one, apparently. I'll take this. And I'll take this. Any Pokemon around here? Yeah, more of you guys. Nothing I can catch. You level three. level two sure anyway you guys don't need to see this i will see you all next time for now i'd like to thank you all for watching and i'll see you all then bye bye